Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to do a meditation, and you guys can meditate with me. It's not guided. Um, I'm going to do skin breathing. And um, so basically, when I breathe, I'm just going to be aware of different areas of my body. And... Um, feel it contract and expand with me and I'm basically going to become one with my breath and uh, yeah you guys can meditate with me if you want to and I got a Chi Power Plus reading in the background from I don't know what his name is now he changes his YouTube name quite a bit so um, I'm just going to let you know that Chi Power Plus in the background far enough away from the hanging object that you're going to practice using yang and yin qian. You should be far enough away that the object is moved by the qi power and not wind. Speak every word of the instructions. Speak every word of, pardon me. Speak every word of the instructions. Speak every word of the instructions, except the words that are in parentheses into the recorder. After you, I might read the whole thing because I'm not doing my own recording right now necessarily. This is giving you guys the general instructions. So after you have your recording made, you'll play it back while you do what you say. You'll play it back while you do what you say. Speak every word of the instructions. Stand far enough that the object is moved by your energy, your force field, and not wind. So, after you have your recording made, you'll play it back while you do what you say. Audio tape record your own voice. Begin speaking into the recorder. Part one. First, lie on the floor, on your back. Lie on the floor, on your back. Solid floor. Place a weight on your abdominal muscle. Gut or tummy, maybe a few bucks, something heavy enough to go on your tummy. When you breathe in, when you inhale, your abdomen should rise. When you breathe out from your chi point, your abdomen should fall. Your breath rate should be as if deep sleeping. Not timing out your breath or anything, just cheek on breathing. Calm, rhythmic breathing. Equal inhales. Calm, equal exhales. Add three minutes to take. 30 seconds. One minute. One minute, 30 seconds. Two minutes. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Three minutes. So set your timer and place the weight on your abdomen. Inhale and exhale all of your breath and oxygen in and out to your chi point. Two inches below your navel, below your arm and chakra, below your belly button. Two. Now, stand with your hands to your side and rest. Rest your hands to your side while you stand. Feet, your feet should be shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart. Take a slow, deep breath. Direct your thoughts to your chi point. No 
located about two inches below your navel chakra. Forcefully breathe inward to your cheek points. Forcefully breathe inward. Then force your breath out slowly through pursed lips. All right. With your hands to your side in rest, feet shoulder width apart. Take a slow, deep breath. Direct your focus, your chi, to your chi points, your deep breath area located two inches below your navel. Forcefully breathe inward to your CM points. Then force your breath out slowly through pursed lips. Force your breath out slowly. Try to form a deep vocal sound as you inhale and exhale. Form a deep vocal sound. As you inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Repeat the slow, deep breaths, feeling the chi points continually, feeling the chi points continually. Slow, deep breaths, feeling the energy points continually. Praise the Most High Power. Develop a comfortable, slow, deep breath rhythm. Comfortable, slow. Inhale and exhale. Form a deep vocal sound as you inhale and exhale. Slow, deep breath rhythm. To and from. Spiritual points, your T points, your spiritual G spot. Develop a comfortable, slow, deep breath rhythm to and from the T points. Your abdomen should expand with each inhalation. You will be reminded about the breathing. Calm, slow, deep, natural, rhythmic breathing so you can concentrate fully, tensing each set of muscles. Concentrate on tensing each set of muscles. Contract to build your chi. Begin with the big toe on your left foot. Tense. Contract the big toe. Squeeze just the big toe. Just the big toe. On your left foot. 
direct your thought and focus to that toe. Mentally and emotionally feel its bottom. Mentally feel the bottom of your big toe on your left foot. Mentally and emotionally see it, feel it. Feel the top of your big toe on your left foot. Direct your thoughts to that toe. Mentally feel its bottom, then top. Then contract it, tighten it by grabbing the floor with it while you're standing, just with your toe. Grab the floor with your toe. Breathe, Qigong rhythm. Equal inhales and equal exhales. Nice and slow. Come wide awake. Now, direct your thoughts and focus to your right big toe. To your right big toe while still squeezing the right. Feel its bottom, then top, top, top. Contract it the same way you did with the big toe on the left. Breathe, calm, slow, deep, and rhythmically. Make it a song. Now, focus your attention back to the toes on your left foot. This is a visualization exercise as well. Place them in a state of tension. Place your left foot, your left foot, the toes of your left foot, all of your toes on your left foot. Place them in a state of yang, of tension by strongly contracting them, squeeze, drawing blood to that area of the body. Squeeze the toes of your left foot, grabbing the floor with it. Grasp the floor, and even deeper with them. Hold the tension. Breathe, Qigong rhythm. Now tense the toes of your right foot the same way. Hold the tension, squeeze. Breathe, Qigong rhythm. In and out. Now tense the arc of your left foot. Tense your right arc. Hold. Now tense the arc of your left foot. Just your foot, not your ankles or anything yet. Tense the arc of your left foot. Hold. your right arc. Hold. Breathe Qigong rhythm. Tense 
since your left heel planted deep into the floor. Hold. Tense your right heel. Hold. Breathe. Qigong rhythm. Breathe oxygen to this area of focus. Forcefully breathe inward to your chi point. Then force your breath out slowly through pursed lips. Sexual organs as well. Tense. Hold. Abdominal muscles. Tense. Hold. Upper back. Tense. Hold. Chest. Right 
shoulder. Head, hold, left upper arm. Head, hold, right upper arm. on the screen real quick because you're going to have to do this. Step one, you'll be standing and you're still squeezing everything and you'll bend down a little bit like a squat and when you, when you're going to inhale going down and when you go up with your hand like you're going to fly, you exhale. And you'll be doing this a couple of times like doing squats in prayer mode in front of your heart chakra and feel your whole body tense and fill up with blood and energy and heat. Feel the energy come in through your root chakra and shoot out through your crown, your spinal cord and the nerves in your spine. Now, place your hand Place your hands, place your hands firmly together at eye level, at eye level, where your third eye be. Fingers tightly together, pushing your palms together, pointing upward like a shooting arrow, as in so-called praying. Exert pressure, press firmly one hand against the other. Continue the pressure, one hand against the other. 
fingers tightly together. As you bend your knees in a half knee bent, feet flat on the floor. Continue the pressure as you bend your knees in a half knee bend, feet flat on the floor. At the same time, you come to the picture, lower your hands, still pressed together. Lower your hands, still pressed together where your throat chakra is at. Lower your hands, still pressed together to your chest while breathing inward. All right, when you bend, you will breathe inward. You will, you will inhale, retract. All right, extend. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. While breathing inward to your chest. Having filled your lungs on both sides, Begin to expel, exhale the air through your pursed lips, making a louder sound. All right, do this as you begin to straighten your legs and lift your still pressed together hands to the heavens, like you're shooting energy from your heart into the sky. Starting from the eyes, end up in the heart, and shoot it up towards the crown, all right, up to the sky. <sighs> Having filled your lungs, expel the air through your two pursed lips, making a louder sound. Do this as you begin to straighten your legs, as you begin to stand up and lift your still pressed together hands to the heavens. You can relax your entire body and just focus on, you can press your body still if you want to, or you can go ahead and just press your palms together. Whatever you tense, you're gonna send energy to. That's yang, sending energy, electro. So when you're praying, hands are fully extended above your head and your legs are straight, just like in the picture. Boom. All right. You should have expelled all the air in your lungs and do this in a rhythm. Chi 
at the object through your right hand. Through your right hand, while the object is standing there, or hanging there, and you're standing a few feet away from it, not too far, not too close, you're just starting off, so you want to start off where you need to start off, all right, and visualize and imagine yourself shooting energy or pushing energy or throwing energy out through your hand at the object, at the object, all right, so you'll put your palm up, and you'll do the yang chi breathing, which is stronger exhales. All right, yang chi breathing, yang chi breathing. Push your chi at the object, shoot your energy at the target through your right hand. Your right hand is the yang energy. Your left hand is the yin energy. So if you're gonna use yang energy, positive energy, you may wanna use the right hand, the sending energy. If you wanna use yin chi, negative energy, attractive energy, you would use the left hand. The left is the feminine, your right is the masculine, together is husband and wife. Male is man and female, the creator made us. Electromagnetic, he made us. All right, mother, father, etc. So shoot the energy out through your right palm at the object. Feel a stream of energy and visualize a stream of beam and beam of energy hitting the object over and over and over and over and over. And that is causing the, the straw or the object to move away. All right, you're pushing the object away now. You're repelling the object. You're very focused on pushing the straw around one direction. That is yang chi, all right? You can also use yin chi to draw the straw to you, to attract the straw, to cause the straw to come towards you. Then you see the basic effects of your electromagnetic force field. The magnetic properties, the electromagnetic properties of your conscience, of your awareness, your mind. So push your chi at the object through your right hand, fingers cupped tightly together. So your fingers will be tightly cupped together and you'll probably squeeze your fingers a little bit since you're using yang chi, which requires a little tension. Hold, tightly together. Fingers cupped tightly together. And thumb, folded towards your palm. Thumb folded towards your palm. You heard? Folded towards your palm. Direct the chi out of the butt of your palm. Out of the butt of your palm. Out of the butt of your palm. While using the Yahoo shout. Yahoo. 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 Yahoo! Yahoo! Direct the energy out from the butt of your palm. Thumb folded towards your palm. Fingers cupped tightly together. Now throw the energy at the object through your right hand, through your mind's eye. Visualize you doing these things. Remember to use the circular movements for building strong throwing chi, circular movements, all right, like pretending you're drawing a circle, all right, and you're pushing energy out through that force field, that circle, like an altar. Remember to, to use the circular move the circular movements for building strong throwing energy, chi, yahua. Then throw the chi. Yahua, the Ruach HaKwadash, the Holy Spirit, then throw the chi at the object. Be sanctified in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Throw the chi at the object through your right elbow. All right, through your right elbow, throw the energy and continue to shout with each throw. Yahua, Yahua, Yahua. Yahua, Yahua. All right, each 
Each inhale, you say ya. Each exhale, hua. You say ya to prepare yourself for the blow, for the blow, and hua when you're ready to throw the blow, when you're ready to fire. Ya hua, ya hua, ya hua. And when you say hua, feel your chi point, all right, intensify, all right, feel it press down. When you hua, 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 the hua should be coming from your chi point, all right. Not hua, hua from your from your nose or your heart. But from your from the pits of your belly, huh, huh, like someone just hit you in the stomach, huh, you know, huh, that's your gut, yeah, huh, hiya. Remember to use the circular movements for building strong throwing power. Then throw the yin chi at the object through your right elbow, and continue to shout with each throw, yeah, huh. Like you're calling upon the Creator. Repeat with your left fingers and left elbow. With your fingers, your elbow. Even try with your first eye to try to move the straw with your first eye. And try not to be throw. Try not to throw so much wind at the object, so you can know that it's not the wind causing it to move, but your mind power, your energy. So your thinking, your thoughts, thoughts become things. Can you picture you moving this thing? Hold that picture. Hold it. Hold. Then kick at the object with your right knee, with your right knee, without touching it. Then kick with your right foot. All right. Everything with the right deals with yang. Everything on the left deal with. Uh, with yin, like your left and right brain hemisphere, logic and emotions, subjective mind and objective mind, emotions versus reason, passion versus logic. So now kick with your left knee and left foot. Now kick with your left. Repeat the exercises and shout. With your fingers fully extended as a knife, like your finger extended like a knife. Yahoo! 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 Who? All right. With your fingers fully extended, as if you're gonna poke someone with your fingers, like a knife. All right. To try to who? To move that object. Who? Alternate and repeat several times. All right, these are exercises you can do every day to strengthen your mind and willpower. Alternate and repeat several times. The object or objective of this practice is to throw additional blood flow through your joints. All right, throw additional blood flow through your joints. Feel your your energy starting to shift and move up. Like after you exercise, you feel scared up. You're charged. You feel boosted. This is what these breathing and these breathing and shouting techniques and visualization visualization techniques do. The same shots fired mentally will be the same shots fired physically because your mind and your actions are completely one. So as you see it, you be it. As you see it, do it, and continue to see it. Most of all, all right, and feel it, feel it. Desire to want to do this. Ain't nobody forcing you to do a thing. So really, desire to do it. Sometimes the desire won't feel like crazily strong, like being horny, which is an extremely strong desire with physical results. You get horny and stuff and wet, and the nipples hard and all that. You might not feel this desire strongly. It'll just Be you wanting to do this? So wanting to do this is your desire. So really want to do this. Don't just do this. Really want to move that object. 
really want to shoot out your energy through your elbow, through your eyes, through your fingers. Yeah, hua, yahua, hiya, yahua, hua, hua, yahua, hua. All right, really want to move something and feel the ground shake and move when you do it. Move mountains. So the object of this practice is to throw additional blood flow through your joints. It also keeps you ready to defend yourself when necessary, meaning it keeps your body strong and tough like a rock. So nobody can be able to hurt you even if they hit you. All right, you'll be able to absorb the punch through the yang chi. All right, the yang chi repels the punch. It takes away some of the shock and impact like shocks on the bike and car. All right, boom, the yang chi energy go boom back. So it lessens the effect versus yin chi, the attractive energy, which will make you absorb and suck in all the pain of the punch. You got a very soft, nurturing body. You're not used to aggressive aggression and blows like yin, positive energy. So this is a picture of what they meant by a knife. Your fingers like a knife and it moves the straw. All right, you can even put out candles using these techniques with just your hand, sometimes with just your eyes. All right, and I've seen monks do these things. This is where they get it. They're tapping into their inner chi, their inner chi gum, their breath, which connect to the universal limitless energy. All right, so our breath connects us to the creator, to the one. All right, sometimes all our body needs is breath more than food and water. Why do you think Christ was able to fast the way he fast? He barely ate, he barely drunk, because he was eating the pan, the chi, the energy that he was creating for himself through his positive lifestyle, his positive thinking, all right? He knew the creator is always with him and will always protect him no matter what's going on. So building chi power, while sitting, while sitting. Look at how he's holding his hand right there. You see the picture? Once you remember these exercises, you won't really need these videos no more. All right, this is a gift that keeps on giving even when I'm not here to see what's going on. All right, or to hear what's going on. Even if I'm no longer a part of why it's continuing. All right, this is a gift that keeps on giving if you let it. All right, so building chi power while sitting, part three. Now, look at the chi power poster in the beginning for the locations of the organs, for the locations of the organs. Add time, if necessary, to your clock, all right, because you want to time how long you do these things and do it longer and longer each time. Sit cross-legged on the floor, just like you see in the picture. Now draw the chi to your hand, to your hand in praying position, or as the Hebrews do, palms facing up in front of the heart, like you're ready to receive a cup of water or a bowl of soup, a basket of light. Draw the chi to your hands by visualizing and Feeling the vision of you drawing energy, breath, into your hand. You feel your hands begin to gather energy, begin to hold light in praying position. Remember, your inhaling should cause your Titan gut to extend slightly against the tension because you're also squeezing the pressure point where you want to breathe the chi into, you're squeezing there a little bit to be reminded of where you want to direct your energy into the mula, into the uh, savadi stana, all right, below the mula dhava, all right, which is our fire and our water energy. So now draw the energy, the inner chi to your hands in praying position. You may want to squeeze your hands too to draw energy there. Remember your inhaling should cause your tight gut 
to extend slightly against this intention to help you remember make a deep noise when inhaling and exhaling Direct your chi flow, your thought, your vision, your energy, along with the statements, into and out through your internal organs. By firmly placing your hands, firmly placing your hands over the organs. Place your hands over the organs you see in the chart. Close your eyes. Relax. As you visualize, picture and feel each internal organ as it is in the chart. Forcefully breathe energy, the Holy Spirit, into and out through each organ. Forcefully. his hand on his throat chakra or his thyroid gland number one make sure you rub your palms too before you start gather the chi feel the chi i'm gonna make another video on chio's energy healing so place one hand over your thyroid place your thumb on one side and fingers on the other side Place your other hand over your thymus. Breathe chi flow out through thyroids. All right, breathe chi flow out through your thyroid while your hands are firmly placed over that area. All right, holding, you're feeling heat in that area to charge that organ, that chakra, that area. All right just like you saw in the picture. Feel energy in your hand, like you're ready to conduct energy. Breathe chi flow out through thyroid, in and out. And you may want to squeeze it so you can make sure the energy is going just to that isolated area. Squeeze it. Whatever area you want to send yang chi energy power, squeeze it. All right, when your intention, when somewhere is intention, you're sending in energy, yang chi. So thought, this is the statement or affirmation you need to repeat to yourself while you place your hand over your thymus gland and your thyroid gland. Thyroids. My spirit is at peace. My ruach is at shalom. My spirit is is at peace as i direct the holy spirit of truth the ruach hakodash the chi power to my internal organs my spirit is at peace shalom salman soundness as i direct chi power my breath to my internal organs my spirit is at peace as I direct chi power to my internal organs and believe it as you say this to yourself in your head. You can say it out loud too. Now move your hand down. Place one hand over your thymus gland, the other just below it over your heart. Breathe energy, chi flow out through thymus through the thymus, and say, thymus, I am strong and courageous. I am strong and courageous. I am strong and courageous. Now tap on the sternum over the thymus, like Tarzan beating his chest like a gorilla. Tap three times with each fist. 
Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, mm. boom. I am strong and courageous. I am strong okay. and courageous. A little meditating. I am strong and All courageous. Right. This helps to strengthen the immune system and Ooh. enlarge the thymus. Keep your hand in the same oh. position. Breathe. Right. Chi flow. Yeah. Chi go I'm done uh, at the, the moment. Breathing. But, um, in and out through the heart. Breathe in <laughs> and out through your heart. All and right. You may want to squeeze um, just that area. I'm going to go get into a more comfortable position, use the bathroom, and uh, do some more meditating.